This is JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Dean Perrine, and welcome to JSA TV. We are coming at you live from the show floor at Encompass 2016 in the Lone Star State of Texas. And we're in Dallas, Texas to be specific. And I'm here with Mr. Mannix O'Connor. Mannix, um, why don't you, what is your title, Mannix? Have I forgotten this already? No, you didn't forget, Dean. I haven't told you yet. <laughs> What is your title, Mannix? Director of Technical Marketing. Outstanding. Mannix O'Connor, the Director of tech Technical Marketing at MRV. Mannix, welcome to JSA TV. Thanks. Glad to be here and, and with you in the audience. Glad to be here. Outstanding. Outstanding. So how is the show going for you? Well, it's excellent because there are so many service providers here, and we love talking to them because many of them are our customers, and we hope more will be after this show. Very, very good, very good. And so for our viewers that don't already know, tell us a little bit about MRV. MRV Communications, we have been in business since 1988. So more than 25 years, we're traded on NASDAQ. And we're a telecommunications uh, equipment vendor. Mm -hmm. We make wave division multiplexing, that's optical transport for those of you in the know. And, uh, <laughs> for those of you in the know, I love it. Which I'm sure most of you are, right? Yes. And carrier Ethernet, uh, which are uh, interface devices which sit at, mainly at businesses to create the services that we need today with the high bandwidth and the good quality. Outstanding. So what's the latest and greatest coming out of the newsroom there at MRV? Well, we have to talk about data centers. I love it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say data centers are using maybe 2% of all the electricity in the world. This is a phenomena and it's a trend. And the optical part of our business is really uh, advancing quickly because of it. 100 gig and 200 gig connections uh, between buildings for servers within data centers. And uh, the other part of our optical transport business is access. So when we think of the access network and the core network, when we, when we think of a routed network, we think of access and core. But in the optical network, there's a core optical long haul network. And there's an access uh, optical network where uh, simpler, lower cost, flexible devices with a lot of uh, features and functions feed the optical core. Mm -hmm. And we specialize in the, the, the techniques, the tools, and the equipment to get the optical edge connected to the optical core. I love it. So um, when, I, when I met you earlier, you looked like somebody who could predict the future. So I'm going to ask you to do that for me today. Is that all right? Uh, Dean, are we talking about politics now? We are, we are not. We will oh, not be sorry. talking politics today. <laughs> okay. So what's, what's, you know, where's the industry? Where is your industry going, say, in the next year? One of the interesting developments is the, uh, devel uh, the creation of large, what look like service providers, but you and I know them as Baidu or Facebook or uh, Netflix or, or uh, Google. Mm -hmm. These are huge networks, uh, and the, the brilliant engineers within these uh, uh, companies are looking to design a little bit different type of equipment than is traditional in the telco industry and so we're seeing new kinds of designs and new ideas uh, come out of these organizations so i think that's where you want to look if you want to see mm -hmm. uh, what we'll be doing five six eight years from now but it's happening now yeah. it's starting now awesome mannix i can't uh thank you enough for joining us today well my pleasure dean and i hope you'll have me back sometime of course of course i'd love to i'd love to um thanks again and thank you viewers for watching jsa tv mm -hmm.